Hey, what's up everybody? It's J-Rock. Today I'm going to be hitting you with a top 10 video. I know how much you guys love those. So I'm going to drop a top 10 compliment getters. At least in my experience, these are the ones that have garnered a lot of positive attention. They're not going to be in the best two words, which one got me more or less. They're just going to be 10 fragrances. Alright, the first one is Armani Code Colonia. You see now, when you put it upside down now, Kind of some fair use out of me when i'm done with this or when it's getting close to the bottom this is something i would rebuy another one it's like um this is like our money code the original but with a fresh take you get your bergamot like you do in the original you get your orange blossom and here you don't get that licorice note that adds that sexiness in the original you don't get that here and nowadays this one is actually stronger and, and better performing than the original i get about four hours with so so projection this one on the other hand that the projects a little bit louder and i get about six hours so it's a nice freshie it will garner you compliments this is meant to be worn by day but i think you can pull it off at night because it does have some type of sexiness to it because it has that cold dna a great uh, option to wear even as a signature scent in my opinion it's uh nowadays i would probably take this one over the original just because it's been reformulated it doesn't smell quite like it once did and it also it's a weaker performer nowadays so yeah this is number one and right, number two is night touch by the house of frank olivier i got in a lot of compliments with this one this one's definitely a compliment getter don't sleep on it this is um it's cheap too it's like 20 bucks at your retailers fragrance net ebay so forth you find this at 20 bucks i grab it i put a decent amount of use on it right there yeah man uh this one i wore it to to the nightlife as it says in the name night touch so that can be another reason why you get compliments because you're using it in the nightlife that's what it's meant for but i think you can pull this off in the daytime this opens up with some pineapple and cardamom you also get some bergamot, but I don't get a lot of freshness out of it. I do get the, the pineapple and the, and the cardamom in here. And then it dries down to violet and vetiver. So it, it's a it's a nice one. It does smell kind of uh, like it's it's not all refined and stuff. It's a little rough. So, but I mean, it's 20 bucks. You're not going to get like natural smelling scents from this. It does smell like it's been chemically made at a lab and so forth, but it smells good. Don't don't let that description turn you off. It smells good and it's 20 bucks. I definitely get the, like I said, the pineapple and the cardamom more than anything else. But they're so like well blended where where no notes really stick out unless you're really trying hard to look for them. It just becomes one scent and it's a, and it's a good one. So definitely check this one out. Three on the list is Aqua Di Gio Absolute. This is a great one. This one is slept on by so much other people in the community. I went back, watched a few reviews, and people um give it a lot of negative marks. But this is a good one. I think the knock on it is that it smells like Invictus, and I get that. <laughs> I totally get that because I'm not the biggest fan of Invictus myself. I bought the Aqua, I bought the original. I sold them because I didn't like them. They felt. I felt like I was. Too old to be rocking that you know what i mean i feel like you know like maybe one of my little cousins or nephews should be wearing this so i was not into it needless to say right but then i smelled this one and uh it's, it has that invictus dna but it has some woods even you see the top here has like a woodsy style to it it has some woodsy notes in here they man it up a little it, it smells a little more mature not quite that juvenile like like the Invictus does. So for me, this just works over Invictus. And but it does smell similar, definitely. And now uh, this gives me mad compliments. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. I walk into a room, people are like, man, where the hoes at? Because this man is on fire. And uh not those kind of hoes, guys. Water hose. Get your mind out the gutter. All right at number four. This one is it's not a panty dropper, but it does get you compliments. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a sexy fragrance, but it's nice smelling. People like it, especially girls tend to like it more than, than guys in my experience. Uh, th uh, that's where all the compliments have came from from this. But for me, it's a very niche time I would wear it. It'd have to be windy 
I uh, can't stand this in the heat. I don't like it. Uh, and it, it, it would just have to be a certain, in the right situations for me. It's replica by the fireplace. Here, you, it's very sweet, almost gourmandish. It has a vanilla. It has chestnuts. People say it smells like a fireplace. To me, this smells like some type of caramel uh, candy or some type of caramel coffee or something, right? Does it? I, I don't get fireplace from it. But, but it is a nice fragrance. It really shines in the colder months when it's windy or when it's raining. Uh, and it does get you it does get you those compliments if that's what you're looking for. Uh, number four, missing Margiela by the fireplace. Number five is Bulgari's Aqua Mara. As you can see right there, I got a, I put a, some use into this one. I got like three or four bottles of this because I really like it. Now that I have more fragrances, I don't know if I'm gonna need all three or four. But I am going to keep one or two extra ones. Maybe I'll sell the other one. I don't know. We'll see. But this gets you mad compliments. If you like a nice citrusy scent, this got some nice orange up top. Then you get a sea ocean type of vibe. So, you know, like when you're taking a walk on the beach with all that cold wind and sea salt flying in there, you feel energetic. You feel like running up uh, around and stuff. This is what's going to do that. It's, it's great to throw it on in the morning. You get your day started in the right direction. Plus, it gives you that... That wow factor where people are like, whoa, what you wearing? Because it's uh, pretty strong. It's noticeable. It wants to be noticed. It, it screams and shouts. You know what I mean? It's, it's that type of fragrance. And it's pretty affordable. You can find this for around 40 bucks. And you don't need to spray that heavy because, because of uh, the performance. So yeah, number five, Aqua Mara. All right. At number six is uh, Calvin Klein Reveal. Now this has gotten a little hype in the community. And this is a penny dropper for sure. I'll let you know from experience. Uh, this gets the job done. This, you know, you go out somewhere, you, you're bringing them back home with you. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, this, some people tell me it has a similarity to Carolina Herrera's, one of the uh, CH Privé, I believe it was. I never smelled that one myself. I never got my nose on it. But it's described as a boozy leather scent. I don't know what the notes on this are. But I could see some type of leather note being in here with some type of sweetness. Not necessarily a boozy note. But it does have that mysterious uh, feel to it. Like you wear this, you're that mysterious guy that walks into the club or, or wherever, right? And you have like a 5 o'clock shadow, you're just kind of quiet. Th this does the talking for you, you know what I mean? You just got to sit there and look pretty. So yeah, this... Um, this one will get the job done, and it's um, it's pretty cheap. It's like 25 bucks. Calvin Klein, reveal. Coming in at number seven is from the House of Mancera. This is Gold Prestige. Now, this will bring in the compliments as well. I like to hit the casinos to eat, to uh, drink there, sometimes watch the boxing and stuff like that. And uh, this gets you some compliments from the waitresses, get you compliments from the bartenders from the times I've gone, got in positive feedback from it. Now this has some spices in it. I think it has some woodsy notes that give it off this spicy feel. Opens up with bergamot, but it's not a citrusy uh, scent at all. It has some woodsy notes, which is what you get more of. It has some musk, so you could kind of get an idea of the scent DNA it has. I think it has a little bit of leather in there, but I don't really get it. I think it's just there to hold everything together and make it last longer. Also has some oak moss. Those two are supporting notes, like in the base to. To keep everything together and and it as all monceras it lasts a long time and that might be part of why why you get compliments with this can be because it just smells strong so so it's noticeable so sometimes people just smell you and like they can smell it so then they're like oh like what is that so maybe that's why they ask a lot i had a few guys ask me um what is it and they want to buy it and so forth because they like it this gives off that more masculine feel like probably a guy that smokes cigarettes Polly has jeans that are torn. You know, that type of person wears this. They rock it and they rock it proud. All right, guys, so that's at number seven. And number eight, this is from the house of Paco Ribbon. And it isn't any of your usual suspects that you hear over and over. This is an underrated gem that nobody talks about. And it's my favorite from all the Paco Ribbons I've tried and the ones I've owned. It's uh, Pure Excess. The Paco Ribbon at number eight. Now this really puts a hip in your heart, if you know what I mean. 
And it's advertised as bringing sexy back. So, you know, if y'all struggling with your sex lives, you want to step up your game, go ahead and grab a bottle and overspray this sucker. You know what I mean? This works, guys. This is a nice one. It's a it's a mad compliment getter for sure. Uh, I overspray with this one because I can't smell this. I throw like 10 sprays of this on for sure. And um, I get attention. I get compliments with it and so forth. So it does work. It's kind of a... a Kind of hard to pick out any notes in it. I get kind of a, it's a little hard to describe. Uh, but I would say, it's, like I said, I, I would say it's more towards a freshy. But I, again, it's a little complicated because it's it's not citrusy or or, or uh, like neroli, fresh fruits, fresh florals. It's nothing like that. It's kind of its own thing. Um, I think it says it has some musk and some leather notes at, towards the base. So maybe that's what's giving it that kind of almost creamy feel. Next one, I only have a decant of. This is Parfum Vintage. Uh, this is called Sawyer. It's supposed to be a clone of Roja Dove's Elysium. I've never smelled the real thing. So I can't tell you how accurate it is to the real one. You would have to go and watch other reviews on that where they do comparisons and so forth. But I do like this one. Look how empty this is already. It's a 10 ml decant. I have an extra one that's like halfway. I've been using both. So obviously I like it, right? If you like, if you don't like the smell of Lemon Pledge, you find it to be cheap and not putting, you're probably not going to like this because this reminds me of Lemon Pledge like if it was more refined and, and higher quality. But you get that type of smell from this. It is a compliment getter though. It's uh, meant to be worn and daytime in my opinion. This is not something you want to wear at night when you're trying to phone numbers or anything like that i don't think this is its purpose it's just meant to be used at daytime everyday casual wear at least that's how i use it but it does get me compliments it says they say it's a nice fragrance people do ask what it is so you will get a positive attention from this one some people will find it to be a little simplistic and uh it's not trying to be complicated it's just trying to smell good you know what i mean so yeah, at number 9 is Parfums Vintage Sawyer. Number 10, I got a banger for you. And at a, a budget friendly as well. It's a Sorrow Wanted by Night. This is a great fragrance. Um, It's called Wanted by Night because it's going to make people want you by night, right? So yeah, it's meant to be worn in the nightlife, parties, clubs, so on and so on, right? And uh, yeah, it gets the job done. It, it's uh, What I get is a strong cinnamon note. You get a light tobacco uh, note in the, in the background as a supporting cast member and you get some spicy woods so it's definitely manly this is not unisex by any means this is meant to be worn by men it's sexy and it's also it can be casual as well it can be worn at day if you really want it to but i do think it does shine at night it's it's a perfect night out fragrance when you're going out to dinner social events with friends whatever it's perfect for for what it's meant for they really they really hit it out of a ballpark with this one in my opinion it will get you compliments from the females and it will get you compliments from uh men as well they want to know what it is you're wearing because they'll want to smell the same so yeah number 10 it's all wanted by night also you get this this big bottle 100 mil for about 30 dollars so really affordable budget friendly I, you just can't go wrong with this one this is one that there's no excuse not to have it in your collection so yeah, guys, hopefully you like this video. Try to have a little fun with it, you know. Um, so, you know, you did. Go ahead and hit that like button. You want to see more of these top 10 lists, let me know. I have, you know, I enjoy doing these. They're, they're fun. I find them more fun than doing a, a review of just one fragrance and trying to break it down. I find these a little bit, uh, I could play a little bit more with these type of videos. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what your, uh, your compliment getters are. Let me know in the comment section what works for you. And if you like what you saw, hopefully you hit that subscribe button and watch the next video. Check you guys out next time.